Hello and welcome back to another review. Today I'm looking at the Olight 14500 lithium ion rechargeable batteries. These were supplied via Olight so that I could test and review them. So I will be running some tests later on just to check the capacity on the cells. On the back you will see not too much information but it does tell you that you have uh, circuit protection and that stops it from over discharging, overloading and overcharging the cells. So that's they're very safe cells to use in that regard. Taking these out of the pack, you just simply push them through. There's no need to tear apart the packaging. Some of the cells I've looked at, they can be a bit fiddly to remove, not so here, just push down firmly and they come out. Now comparing them to an Any Loop, which is very much a standard size AA battery, you will see that they are longer. Now that is because of the protection circuit, but there are also some other differences. The button or nipple top is also flatter and wider. So overall length of this would be a couple of millimetres longer, including the button top. Now I brought a tape measure out just to check, and it's a touch over the two inches, around about 51 millimetres. And I tested both of the batteries, and they're exactly the same length in this sample. So do bear that in mind. With some torches, uh, they may not have enough space for the protection circuit. Now I did test it in an S1A baton, which is also made by Olight, and you can see it's slightly proud but the spring mechanism should take up that extra space and you can screw that in firmly so the waterproof seal is connected and testing this out I had no problems at all with it so that fits perfectly on this torch but uh, do check other torches with the measurements. Now running the capacity test I ran this twice and both times both cells came out at over 800 milliamps an hour so that's above specification which is a good sign that's about as high as you can get with a 14500 cell I've seen some mid-range ones a bit lower and about six, seven hundred. So that's a good capacity number for those. So overall, no complaints with these cells. Do check those measurements though too. And the button top, which is a bit wider than the standard one on an alkaline or nickel metal hydride cell. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in the next video.